Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of The Shawshank Redemption. This film was actually really good. I really loved it. Um, uh, I, I really did. I think it was a great kind of uh, film about, you know, I guess that the hope, I guess, would be what it's really about is about, you know, this guy who gets wrongly accused to be in prison and just has that underlying hope of one day getting out and you see him struggle to to to, to make do of, of what he had, you know. I, and it is it is a very, you know, powerful film and a really great film with, with great characters and great performances. You know, especially, you know and I think with uh Morgan Freeman. But I think what's kinda interesting about this film is it's told from like the supporting characters point of view. I thought that made it very clever. Where it's like you hear where it's like the main character is almost feeling to be red, but yet we kind of, in some ways, see the film through. It's like we see what, what, uh, what's his face? We see what, um, Andrew Dufresne uh, does, but we, he, we are told from it from the point of view of Red. I think that makes it very interesting. But I love this idea of like he constantly does so, like he's in prison for a year. I'm talking to Andy in a year and another year and another year and he never le let sight of you know the hope that he can one day get out he never le lets go of it and I love when he plays the music and someone's like why play the music what difference does it make and then it says it reminds me of the simple things you know it reminds me of that there's still hope that there's still a chance you know the hope that we one day I can get out one day I can l listen to music and to not take these things for granted um, and, and, and people mock him about, you know, feeling that, 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 um, uh, that, mu that soothing music brings, you know, them hope. But then they show, early in the film, when he's playing music, you just see all of the people almost smiling, all the, you know, he cr tries to create a library, and he's doing all this for, as a, per in his personal character, but also to get goodwill from the cops, to hopefully, you know, put him on parole, and as he constantly tries and tries and tries again, demonstrating the hope and I think this could be made to the parallel of like a Rudy though I just watched where like he's you know he's hope you know um Rudy's hoping to get on the Nord Dame you know football team right but I think this is more powerful message um in Shawshank because the ultimate hope is to escape a prison the ultimate hope is to you know live a life um outside of prison you know the ultimate indication of hope someone stuck in prison trying to get out and trying to you know escape and i love that you know early on he kind of asked for like the the um the little um pick the pickaxe the little one and then you kind of forget as the film goes along he has it and, and, but yeah at your back of mind you're like what is he doing with the pickaxe what is he doing and i love that you don't see him escape um, when it happens, because, like, the shock is there, when, like, the guy's throwing, because at first, when you see him, at first, you're like, what did he do, what, did he kill himself, did he, what, where is he, and then they say, he's gone, you're like, what, where did he go, where did he escape, we didn't see that, and I love the, the simple thing, if he throws the rock, and it goes through a hole, I love that pleasure, because he, there's almost that, um, shock element of, did he dig a hole, because you never saw any of that early in the film, and then they flash back to that. And I think the simple things of him good at math, you know, where does he keep the, the pickaxe in the in the Bible? Where does he, he takes, you know, and you see things like, why does he, why would, if he's going to escape, why would he do, why wouldn't he just escape when he finished the hole? And you wonder, oh, because he wants to get the files and, you know, um, the documents. and He traded, you know, you, you see him put in the, the other book in the, in the, um, the, the safe. And it's these simple things that get set up in the first, the beginning that has, you know, great dividends, um, at the end, um, it was really great. And I love when they ended up letting, um, Red out after, and I love that they let, and I think that almost leaves me to believe that they let Red out because they, they let Red out, um, because... I think they left, they let Red out because they're no, they're no longer corrupt. I think is that a fair assumption? Maybe they just let 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 um Red out because um 
they just figured, you know, he served enough long enough time, and he did seem very honest, so, you know, but, but I was happy, and then he ended up finding the stone, and the money, and, you know, made his way to him, and I loved the, again, Roger Deakins, um, cinematography, when, when, um, that he won the Oscar for 1917, I, um, and you could tell in this film, too, when he has those great establishing shots of the prison, and also the shots of, you know, the Pacific Ocean, and the and, um, I, I remember that it will be ingrained in my mind when it's red and, and Andy hugging each other at the, at the end. And I think um every every scene counts because I think whether you're establishing the Brooke character. And, and speaking of Brooke's character, what I love is they explore every aspect of being stuck in prison. They establish the, the pain of, of having to live in this, this prison for years and years and decades and decades. They explore how there's little, there's... Not a lot, but some good that can come out of being stuck in prison, you know? And they also, you know, explore factors, you know, like, um, uh, that there's hope, that, again, like, with the Andy character, um, that there's hope, um, and I love, I love his great line of, of, um, <coughs> either, um, um, you know, and I think, um, and with the Brooks character, you know, with, uh, um, uh, with the, you know, the Brooks character, um, when he, um, you know, kills himself, you, you, you see that pain of you, when you're there for decades and decades and decades, that the pain is there, of, especially when, Times have changed. Technology has changed, and they, you see the shot where he's trying to walk down the street, and the cars are coming. And you know he 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 does he's not used to being around with so much cars because I'm assuming he, got, he was put if he was there for like fifty years, he was probably put there in like early because it probably happened in the fifties, so maybe like early nineteen hundreds before cars were a big thing. And how he almost missed prison because that's in some ways all he knew for his adulthood, you know. Um. Um, so yeah, it was, um, a very, uh, powerful, um, thing. I need to be right back. I need to, um, sh I forgot his famous, uh, quote. So I'm just gonna be right back quickly. Um. Um. Um, so, um, so yeah, cause I, I need to get my iPad to check, um, what the, his famous quote was, cause I kept repeating it to himself, um, to myself over and over again, so I wouldn't forget, but I forgot in any time. But anyways, yeah, the, it, it showed the pain of, like, how some people have lived their whole life trying to adapt to prison, and then once they adapt to prison, once they get that opportunity to get out, they realize, in some capacity, you miss prison. I think, I think I again, the idea of exploring every aspect of t of of serving decades and decades of prison. Prison. I'm assuming Shawshank um, um, is a prison f full of most likely people who either have de life sentences. Um, So, um, it is, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's kind of like what, oh gosh, of horrible internet, but I'm assuming it, it's, it's kind of meant in a way of kind of demonstrating, um, uh, it's either, it's, um, it's demonstrating a way that, um, oh, oh yes, you either get busy living or get busy dying. So, so, such great. There ain't no day that goes by without feeling regret. And I, I love those lines. These quotes are so great. And, you know, the, that, the literally embodiment of hope comes from you either get busy living or get busy dying. Um, with, with, you know, Andy DeFranc's character. And I love that it's, that you, he kind of seems like he's trying to really adapt, but he struggles. Because every time he feels like, okay, 
I'm, I'm doing good. Something gets knocked down. And I love when he figures out. Um, I love when he figures out that, you know, one of the people in prison, the guy with the long uh, uh, sideburns, was in prison with the guy who probably killed, um, who probably killed um, um, his wife and, and lover, and the wife and hit her level, her lover. When that happens, and then he goes to try to see if he can get out to go to have another court trial, and then the the, the um, person overseeing the prison says no. I think that, and he instead puts him in you know even more maximum security cell, whatever. I, I love how that even lights the fuel under the fire even more. And if that wasn't enough, the death of the guy who he had befriended, the guy with the long sideburns, who told him about about um the whole person who killed who probably did kill commit the crime that, that Andy was accused of, that lit the fire even more. Cause it, it, it not necessary to make the hole, because I'm assuming by that time the hole was nearly done. But the motivation to keep going because he had to go through the, you know, the shit sewers and had to, you know, run in the rain. And I love that iconic shot of him holding his arms out, you know, and almost saying like, in the rain. And I think it's this, these little things like the wet, the the water of rain, and, and he feels, but now he doesn't feel no more. And I think um was great in the and it explores no corruption in prison and it it really explores so many different themes. Um, the theme of hope, the theme of friendship. Um. Of not giving up, of uh, of in some ways karma. Like you 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 get what you deserve in some place, in some points of the film. So I think a lot of great themes were, were shown, and I think because this film was two two hours twenty two minutes, they're able to really not have to shy away, or not shy away, but they are really able to explore every little detail and explore big highlight moments throughout Andy and Red's time in prison, and you explore their friendship, on top of explore you know, the ups of downs of, of prison, and I think, um, you know, what Andy's trying to do to keep busy, and I love, you know, these, again, little callbacks, like putting up the posters, and, and drawing Andy in the, in the side, and, um, I think, and having friendship, and helping the cops so that they'll help him back, and, um, Red being able to get things by, you know, having a lot of cigarette packets because in prison I'm sure you know cigarette packets were, were kind of currency so I, I really enjoyed this film you know I think many people think this should this film should have won the Oscar over Forrest Gump in 1995 I it's close it's close I I, I wouldn't have cared no matter what I'm not I don't you know what? I'm glad that Forrest Gump won I think for me it's it's hard to say which film is better I mean they're different but I they're very different um, but I, I, I just enjoy Forrest Gump more. But I wouldn't have cared if it, if it figured out that Shawshank won. I didn't care, no, so. To me, I thought the, the thing is, they're both great films. Like, if you didn't like Forrest Gump, obviously, then you might be sad that Shawshank didn't win. But for me, because those two films are, I love Shawshank and I love, um, Forrest Gump, so I didn't care that Forrest Gump won, won. And nor did what I have cared. I would have. I'm glad Force Gump won because, in my opinion, I think it's a better film. But there's no real no comparing and whatnot. I think a little thing about this film was like, okay, so uh, Andy was there for what, like, thirty years, forty years? When I think it was like maybe like forty years, thirty years. But he didn't age a day. And even more evident is um Red Morgan Friedman's character who didn't age a day either. Like, he, like you're telling me he was there for 30 years? Like, there was, like, that big... Like, when you see his um, close-up of his mug shot, it looks like he aged a lot. So, like, there might be an age, big age gap between year 1 and year 10. But, like, gosh, like, he didn't age at all. And I feel like they didn't even care to try to make it even seem remotely like he aged. But, again, the character's great. The cast is great. The performances are great. Um, such a satisfying ending. Um, like, like, not even kidding. Like, you know, to become prison friends, to be able to hang out on the beach and, and enjoy the simple life. And I love when he said, when he at when um Red asked um he was working at a grocery store and he asked his um employer if he can go pee. And it's this again like I love how they can demonstrate how 
how he that you start to really take for granted the little things and he's like don't ask me it again and you know you, you um I think I, I love that they explore every aspect of what it would be like to live in prison I love that they you know um make it so clever how you see where you don't think you you almost put the idea that he's trying to escape that Andy's trying to escape in the back burner and then when you figure out he did escape you're like wow how did he do it and you're like did, are they gonna show and then they do show they show him you know they don't show him a day montage sequence of him digging or not but they show him you know trying you know timing his thing with the lightning so this film is also very clever it's motivating it's satisfying it's heartwarming warming whatever great cast great performances memorable great quotes so really enjoy this film uh i'm not gonna give it a, you know rating or anything but you know really great film Stay tuned for our videos coming at you.